So my name is Robert Rosenson. I'm a professor of medicine at Mount Sinai Heart, the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. The uh, trial is evanokumab in patients with refractory hypercholesterolemia. This is a phase two study that utilizes the angiopoietin-like three protein inhibitor, evanokumab, in patients with refractory hypercholesterolemia, the majority of whom included individuals with heterozygous familial hypercholesterolemia. This study included patients who are on maximum tolerated statins, plus or minus azetamibe, and 100% received PCSK9 inhibitor therapy. If the LDL cholesterol level exceeded 70 milligram per deciliter, these study participants were eligible for randomization into one of two different treatment arms. One arm was subcutaneous administration of evanokumab on a weekly or biweekly basis. The other part of the study involved intravenous administration of evanokumab on a once monthly basis. Many patients with refractory hypercholesterolemia, by definition, have elevated LDL cholesterol levels despite maximum tolerated therapy, including statins, azetamibe, and PCSK9 inhibitors. We know, without a doubt, that the higher the LDL cholesterol, the higher the risk of atherosclerotic cardiovascular events. We also know, without a doubt, that lowering LDL cholesterol reduces cardiovascular events. Many patients with heterozygous familial hypercholesterolemia have elevated LDL cholesterol levels despite maximum available therapy. We need to identify other solutions to lower the LDL cholesterol and potentially reduce the risk of an atherosclerotic cardiovascular event. Evanokumab is a fully human monoclonal antibody directed against angiopoietin-like 3 protein. This uh, target for angiopoietin-like 3 protein was identified in genetic studies of patients with familial combined hypolipidemia, individuals who had low levels of LDL cholesterol, low levels of triglycerides, and also low levels of HDL cholesterol. In Mendelian randomization studies, loss of function mutations in angiopoietin-like 3 protein were associated with a lower lifetime risk of coronary heart disease, and in another study, a lower lifetime risk of myocardial infarction. Therefore, Mendelian randomization supports the potential for inhibiting angiopoietin-like 3 to reduce lipid levels and reduce atherosclerotic cardiovascular events. This phase two study included individuals who are on maximum tolerated statin plus or minus azetamibe and 100% received a PCSK9 inhibitor. After establishing stability of the lipid lowering regimen, individuals were screened for the lipid levels. If the LDL cholesterol exceeded 70 milligram per deciliter, they were eligible for randomization into the trial. We included individuals who had a clinical diagnosis of heterozygous familial hypercholesterolemia, although many had genotypic confirmation, and other individuals who had very high LDL cholesterol levels despite treatment with statin azetamibe and a PCSK9 inhibitor. Now, whether those individuals without a clinical or genetic confirmation for heterozygous familial hypercholesterolemia actually had familial hypercholesterolemia remains to be determined as the genotyping for all study participants is ongoing. In this trial, Evanokumab lowered LDL cholesterol by 50% in both treatment arms. Intravenous therapy and subcutaneous therapy produced equivalent results. In addition, there were dose-dependent reductions in non-HDL cholesterol and apolipoprotein B, 
and reductions in lipoprotein A, although these were not as consistent as the results with the LDL cholesterol, non HDL cholesterol, and apolipoprotein lipoprotein B. From our uh, trial, we can conclude that evanocumab is effective in lowering LDL cholesterol in patients who are very difficult to treat with elevated LDL cholesterol levels that place them at increased risk for atherosclerotic cardiovascular events. This therapy is safe. We had only one serious adverse event, which was an allergic response in one uh, individual. That uh, allergic response uh, resolved after uh, one dose of an antihistamine. The next steps are to determine whether the LDL cluster lowering effects of evanocumab that work by an LDL receptor independent pathway are sufficient for this agent to receive approval by regulatory agencies. LDL cholesterol is a surrogate marker of atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. And the reduction in LDL cholesterol of 50% is consistent with our previous report in homozygous familial hypercholesterolemia patients, where we also demonstrated a reduction in LDL cholesterol of about 50%. And the benefits occur in individuals with a broad range of LDL receptor and other FH mutation uh, causing uh, traits. Whether we need to move forward with an atherosclerosis imaging study or a cardiovascular event reduction study with evanocumab is an open question that will require the input of regulators around the world. But we are encouraged that these very difficult to treat individuals have the ability to lower the LDL cholesterol to the minimal acceptable targets by international cholesterol guidelines. And that benefit occurs despite uh, the lack of uh, efficacy with statins, azetamide, and PCSK9 inhibitor therapy.